now 2023. That is crazy, crazy girl. Um, yeah, hi, welcome back to my channel, or welcome if you're new. It's gonna be my best season yet, I've decided. My mum got me a card for Christmas and it literally said, this is to the best season yet. And that's what my motto is this year. I've been heavily influenced by TikTok, and I think we all are, but I wrote a letter to my future self. This is for six months, and then I have one for the year as well. And then I've made a classic vision board. I've I've even got Notion now, and I've been writing all my goals in there, and I love it. I know like resolutions are a little bit like hit or miss, but I have a really good feeling about this year. Like, I appreciate 2022 and what it brought me. Like, I really feel like I found my confidence, but I wanna like step it up this year. Like, come along with me today. We're gonna go through my little habits and things I'm gonna do to implement this to be the best year yet. This feels like such a reset because I've even downloaded the new iOS update. So, and I'm also drinking matcha. I've been using the Chamberlain Coffee chocolate matcha and it's so good. But the reason I've been using it first thing in the morning is because I don't want to be drinking coffee on an empty stomach. So if I have coffee, it'll be like a decaf and I'll put like collagen and cinnamon. I've been doing this for, since the beginning of December. So I've been staying consistent and I feel like it is and it is something that is being realistic for me but all my other goals are a little bit too optimistic yes i've maybe set myself up for failure but i am trying to make things i'm going to make things happen not trying but the second one is is a classic i feel like we all get it also quick before i get into it this top is from sweaty betty i got a ton of different colors and they are like the perfect staple so like you've been looking for a good workout top. I have one in every colour, so if anyone wants to borrow one, <laughs> you've got it. But the second habit is, of course, why do I look, I look silly? <laughs> a hot girl walk. I don't know, I do this every day. I can't actually hear you, you're probably talking really loud because it's on the noise counselling mode. But yeah, I love a hot girl walk, but I'm really gonna step it up in a way of like, you know, cause I talk to myself <laughs> the whole time on my walks and I kind of want to take it in a way of like breathing well, being more just like present, like thinking about what I'm grateful for. second habit is to go on more runs and to increase my mileage so I really want to do you know what it was again TikTok I saw people doing like their running wrapped of the year and everyone was doing like thousand miles and I know I need to compare but I think I did like nearly 500 so I think it is doable you know if I just increase my mileage double each week I think I could do it so again being very optimistic yeah we're gonna go for like four ish miles today I think I'm gonna have to do about 15 to 20 miles each week to hit that goal um so yeah wish me luck but yeah we're gonna go for a run now I am not feeling very motivated but we're still gonna do it see you in a bit what I do is I listen to country music and that's what motivates me for it <laughs> Are you gonna do a hundred thousand miles this year? Hundred thousand miles. <laughs> thousand. Thousand miles. I'll give it my best shot. <laughs> okay, the arcs are back on. I'm back home. It's the first time I've been home alone in a while, and I kind of love it. Love my family, but I can talk and not like feel awkward. So yeah, I am gonna make myself some brekkie right now. I so that goes on to my fourth habit, fourth fifth. I want to have more hormone balanced meals. I'm not an expert, okay? I'm not. But I, it's not a trend that I'm trying to follow. It's something that I really want to work on because I haven't had a period in over a year and a half now. So I'm a little bit concerned for her. Don't know what's going on down there. So um, I want to work on that because I've never had that before. I also got diagnosed with PCOS, but then I had a second ultrasound to see what was going on. 
and apparently it was normal. So I don't, I think I've been misdiagnosed. Unless nothing's come back from my blood test. So the only thing that I can put it down to is hormones. So I want to get my hormones checked and also just like support it with eating well. Because I used to have really bad skin and I just think I have like all those, all those different like, you know, when you start diagnosing yourself. I don't know. So I want to work on that. Um, so I'm going to have some breakfast. I, I do eat overall healthy, but it's about just eating enough of every group or just making sure that every meal is balanced and being more mindful on that. I'm not going to go too serious with it because I know you can get too worried about it all, but it's not about taking away certain groups. It's about adding to your plate actually. So, so what I'm going to have is avocado, healthy fats, egg, um, sourdough, butter. Having a bit of butter in my breakfast makes me so happy. Also, just to say as well, I'm still learning. So if anyone has any tips, um, or if they know anyone who can like help me with understanding hormones, that'd be great. Or if you have any like recommendations on books. Also, while we're here talking about health things, I, this is not wine, this is water, but um, I am trying to stay, I'm trying to stay mindful with how much water I drink because I think I drank too much water. Um, <laughs> I know you're probably thinking you're so annoying, but I would just like, I would literally just chug it down and then go on to the next one. And I don't think it was that good for me because I was constantly bloated, which is absolutely fine, but like not drinking when I was actually dehydrated, just drinking because like it was there. So I'm trying to like refill bigger bottles of water, like a liter, whatever I can find, and like keeping track of how many I actually have. And I just think it's so much easier when you know exactly how much you're having rather than putting it in a glass. And also having filtered water, because I used to go in the sink, because I used to hate, I still do, I hate waiting for it to go. And I'm very impatient, but <laughs> apparently filtered water is better. And I know that is a privilege. I may as well. Health is well. <laughs> so yeah, long story short, I just want to work on my digestion, my eating habits, making sure I eat a little bit slower so I can just like digest my food, it's better for my gut. Um, and yeah, I'm actually excited about it though. Okay, I have my first coffee of the day. So that gets me into my, I don't know what habit we're on now, but my next habit is to work on this thing what I'm doing right now. I went through such a weird place for YouTube last year. And I'm actually grateful that I had that now because at the time it was horrible. I felt so burnt out with YouTube. I didn't want to even watch anything. And that was really sad because it just didn't feel like me. Now I've got like this surge of inspiration. I feel like I've actually reset. I know I keep going on about it, but it just means so much to me because it is being my, my passion since I was young. And it's nice that I'm finally getting back to it. And not just with YouTube, but like with TikTok and Instagram. Like I really want to like, I don't know, just be myself online and just actually post things I want to post. I don't know whether this is a bit too far-fetched, but like I really want to find like a mentor in the social media space, someone that can, you know, just help keep me accountable and consistent because I get really excited about getting back onto YouTube and I post for a little bit and then because I still work full time, so it's hard trying to balance that sometimes, and that's normal life. I've I've totally understood that last year but I wanna make sure that I keep this as a priority. So when I'm doing the weekdays, I'm hoping that I can like um, do some content for like an hour first thing in the morning or just any time I have free. And then obviously the weekend spend more time. But that's my, that's my goal, like trying to get a routine with YouTube again. And also I wanna work on the podcast. <laughs> it actually, sometimes I get a bit embarrassed to talk about it. It's like, I was doing so well with it and then again, just life got by and so I didn't really get time to spend on it and I think I, I always want to say the right thing so I'm hoping to like potentially record every third week of the month and then stick to that hopefully fingers crossed but yeah I know I'm talking a lot I'm sorry but I'm just really passionate about this year and I'm a little bit worried that I'm gonna get burnt out because it is that all or nothing kind of feeling that we all get but I'm embracing this like error that I'm in <laughs> right now. One thing I do, I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna schedule some content for Instagram because I love taking pictures, but just like we all do, we 
overcomplicate Instagram. <laughs> so I'm gonna try and like schedule every month, like first week of the month. I'm gonna also look some ideas for content for Instagram and TikTok and obviously YouTube. Okay, can we guess what my next habit is? I wanna clean my room more declutter it because it is an actual mess i'm not even just clean my room but just form some better daily habits for example read more i had some really good intentions for reading i downloaded audible i started paying for the subscription for the past like six months and i've already like listened to one book my idea was was to like listen to an audible book on the train however it is loud on the train so I barely hear what I'm, what they're saying to me, especially most of the books I read is like self-help development books. And I can't, if I can't hear what they're saying, it's not gonna give me any value. So I wanna work on that. But yeah, going back to the cleaning, <laughs> I don't know if I'm gonna stick to it. However, when I'm working, I do a lot of production. So I have a ton, like, you, you better see it here. It's so bad, look. That, yeah, that's not good. That is most of it is just like camera equipment, props, things I have for work, which is fine. However, it just piles up and it's not good. And I need to just take five minutes just, just to get it done. And I'll feel so much better because I hate working in my room. I never work in my room when I'm working from home. So I want to make this a good space for me. I've heard people do like a timer, like a five minute timer, where they just like declutter a little bit. And I think it will really help. And I think as well, overall, it'd just be great if I could clean my room like at the end of every month. So like choose on the sun on the last Sunday of the month, I clean my room and just really give it a declutter. I think that'll work. However, will I do that? I don't know. But I'm gonna put it out there. While I'm like cleaning as well, I could watch some TV or YouTube. And that's called habit stacking. <laughs> I'm acting like I know what I'm talking about, but I think that's the only way I'm about to do it. And it'll make it more fun. It's like romanticizing the, these sort of chores. As I said, we're being productive today. However, it is so important that I, not, I'm not talking about myself, but just like we take time to rest because I know we do get a bit too excited with being productive and then we go through that cycle of just feeling burnt out and then we don't want to do anything which is absolutely fine to go through those cycles but i'm trying to like be more mindful before i get into that again so i'm trying to get in touch with my feminine side again is that the right way to say it i don't know like i have been so like grind 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 you know, hustle masculine energy which is fine i love that however i know that i need to take time to rest and actually embrace that because like us women are so different to men and i didn't really understand that until i like started to get really stressed and it just didn't work for me i discovered this a lot during the end of 2022 so taking time to do things for myself solo dates take time out from work enjoy it you know just free time and find out why i actually enjoy again so like slowing down you know, baking, actually like pampering myself because I used to be so low maintenance. I was like, I don't do any skincare, but I actually got some stuff for Christmas. I got myself a Brazilian bum bum cream. I, it's such a funny name to say. I also got some ordinary. I got the retinol one. So I'm gonna start putting that into my skincare. And then my nan, my nan was so on it. She got me like this shampoo conditioner set and it's about having more volumized hair. And my hair is so thin, like it literally molts as it comes comes out so i am excited to try that so i may just like unwind have a bath i really want to paint my nails again because like my nails are getting so much more stronger because i've been putting collagen in my coffee and i'd be a girly girl again <laughs> even like in the morning you know getting myself ready properly because like sometimes i'm just i'm not lazy i just like do the bare minimum and i should just like dress myself up because i def i definitely feel way more confident to seize the day so okay to finish off the day strong a habit that has been a habit before for me but i want to get back into it and of course you can kind of get it it's yoga slash stretching um one sec <laughs> 
Honestly, for this habit, I'm not gonna make an excuse, but I do blame COVID for this. <laughs> I used to go to an actual class like twice a week and I loved it. And then obviously COVID kind of, we couldn't do that. So I do miss it. And also my body misses it because I'm so tired. Because as I, I did a run today and I should like stretch afterwards and warm up before. I, I don't, I, I try and now and then I do, but I don't stick to it. So I really want to like five minutes before I go to sleep, five minutes when I wake up, just to do a bit of stretching or, or like look up a yoga video. I'm just, like, my hips are not happy with me and I get it. <laughs> so yeah, if I want to keep up with running, if I want to do all these amazing things, I need to keep stretching. And it's not just obviously good for the physical body, but just good for winding down. But yeah, that is, that's my goal. So yeah.